Delivery! Oh, perfect! I've been waiting for these ever since I saw the news. We need another engine. Rex, Bird, and Mike, the small railway engines, were very excited. The thin clergyman had written a book about them, and today it was going to be published. I hope that you will all look forward to riding our railway and enjoying the beautiful sights the Alistair Railway has to offer. Thank you to the Reverend Audrey for this boost of publicity. We hope to leverage it to bring the joy of our railway to more people than ever. Three cheers for my small engines. Rex, Bart, and Mike. Hey, wait a minute! I'm now, not- We have refreshments waiting by the station for everyone to enjoy. Thank you to everyone for joining us to celebrate this momentous occasion. Why wasn't I in the book? I'm just as useful as the rest of you. This is discrimination! For the last time, Frank. You weren't there when the thin clergyman wrote it. He didn't know about you. Besides, what would there have been to report anyway? Watching paint dry could create a more interesting story than anything you get up to. I am interesting. Just because you lot decide to ignore me doesn't mean the whole world should. Are you kidding, Frank? We wish we could ignore you! You're just too obnoxious! I mean, come on, do you ever hear yourself talk? Obnoxious? How dare you! Oh, have your temper tantrums somewhere else, Frank. We've heard enough of them for a lifetime. Oh, I should have been in the book. Uh, why can't I be in the book? Everyone else gets to be in the book. <sighs> Not me. Me, I guess. <sighs> oh, poor old Bert. What a shame he's out of puff. No stamina! You wouldn't have any stamina either if you had to deal with the heavy trains I've been pulling. I've never seen so many people. We've all been pulling heavy trains, Bert. You don't hear me whining about it. What you need is determination and sticking power. <laughs> sticking power? I might have known I'd get no sympathy from you two. I'm overworked and so are you. Yes, but we aren't complaining. We're a useful railway bird. We can manage a little publicity. Hm. Huh. If Bert's up and about, I might as well try to stretch my wheels before my first train. Are we all getting old, Mike? It's called self-care. Read a book! <laughs> Oh, oh, finally. Oh. Oh. Tell me exactly what the problem is, Bert. I'll see what I can do to get you on your way. I can't get my breath properly. Uh, let's see here. Let's look in. Oh. Ah! You need new tubes! But we can't spare you at present. Keep going for now and we'll give you a new set during the winter. The winter? I barely think I'll last till autumn at this rate. Keep it under your dome. But I did hear rumors about a new engine. A new engine? <laughs> yes, a new engine. We need one, because if any of you three failed, we'd really be in trouble. No, I deserve it! If I'm not in the book, they should take it off the shelves and correct it! <laughs> I see what you mean, sir. Let me give your tubes a good clean before you leave, Bert. That should help you keep going. At least until we can get some help. Thank you, Mr. Farrier. It's not fair. Why can't I be in a book with the others? Cheer up, Frank. It's only a book. It's got a picture's hat, isn't it? I'm not in those either, I suppose. Come on, Frank! It's teamwork that counts on a railway, not books. I don't care. I said I don't care! Stop, Frank! Stop! Oh, no. Frank! What on earth did you do? 
I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't think it started so suddenly, and I promise I was just eager to get to work, and I- Get out of the shed now. We need to find out whether it's still safe. Go to work immediately. I don't want to hear another word from you or about you all day. Do you understand? I yes, sir. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Cleaning his tubes helped a little, but Bert soon felt poorly again. He did his best and soon reached the top station, feeling very pleased with himself. Only a few minutes late, and with a full train, too. Good job, old boy. Now I'll just turn you around on the table and get you on the other side of the train. That should give me enough time for a good breather before my journey down. Cheer up! Once we're over the hill beyond the station, we should be able to cruise the rest of the journey without losing any time. That's a relief. The others would be sure to give me a hard time if I ran any later. <laughs> well, let's make sure you don't then. Bert rested for as long as he could, but it was soon time to leave. Come on, Bert. Time to go. <sighs> All right. I don't like the way that little engine is straining. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. This is easy. We passed the hill already. Whoa, 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 Bert! Back we go! Back? What for? Seems we left our train behind. No wonder it was so easy. The tender coupling's broken. Oh, really now? You don't say? We'll just have to stick around until someone can bring up a spare. Stick around? Oh, I know what Rex and Michael have to say about sticking. Hmm. You've just given me an idea, Bert. What idea? Here's our solution. Glue. It's supposed to stick to anything. Even trains? Oh, come off it, driver. That stuff's meant for arts and crafts, not big metal machines. Do you have any better ideas? Touché. Now I've seen everything. Are you sure about this? Definitely. There's no hurry. We'll take it steadily and make sure the passengers get home. The guard has told them what has happened, and they say they don't mind being late. But Rex and Mike will... Easy. Easy. Come on, old boy. Once we're through this stretch, it'll be easy. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. We're home free. We're home free. Well done, Bert. <sighs> when we're in the loop, I need to take a look at you, Rex. We've got a steam leak somewhere. Oh, oh. wonderful. Uh. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> working hard, Rex? Or hardly working? You, you think of that yourself, Mike? I've been rushed off my wheels, okay? I can't help that my wit isn't as sharp as usual. Sharp as a butter knife. <laughs> it's you too, Rex. Overworked. That's what we are. We need another engine. You might need some help, but I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Come on, Rex. Just a little while longer, and then you can take a nice rest up at the top station. Come on, old boy. I 
think we can make it up to the top. To the top? I can make it to the top? I can make it to the... <laughs> no, no, can't make it. I'm done. Well, you aren't getting any further today, old boy. We better call for help. Don't you have to go to the station to get help? <laughs> Not since they installed those new radios in your cabs. Control? Rex's steam pipe is leaking badly. We're fine on our own, but the train is too much for us. Can you send someone to help, please? We'll get you out somehow. Uh, don't go away. Very funny. As if I can. Hey, Rex! What? You may need some help, but I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Rex needs help. Can you head up towards the loop where he stopped and take his passengers on so he can head back home for a proper look over? Roger that, Control. We'll be there as fast as we can. A rescue? I'm doing a rescue? Rex isn't derailed, Frank, just worn out. Think of it more like uh, teamwork. Now, we can't keep the people waiting. I wasn't planning on it. And the cherry on top. Wonderful things, these radios. Control says you need help, so I have to take the train and let you go home alone. Teamwork, my driver calls it. I know, it's an open line. Thanks for the save, Frank! You're welcome. You can Hooray! Do it. We're well gonna make done, it! Frank. Hooray! Hooray. Hooray. Nice Hooray. job! You don't see that very often. Um, sorry for being late, everyone. Late? Please. You put things right very well. We were expecting a wall cone. Well done, Frank. <gasps> Sir! You acted quickly in a crisis situation and help these passengers get to their destination safely. You definitely did your part on our useful railway today. Oh, thank you, sir. Three cheers for Frank! Hip, 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 hip. hip hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hip hooray! The shed isn't badly damaged either, so let's just not repeat it and say no more about it. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. So that's sticking power. Never mind being tired. Some of us have it, and some of us don't. <laughs> Good night. Oh, no, you don't! I did not complete a rescue today just for no one to hear about it! Can you believe that guy? He got stuck. I mean, he kept saying we need another Frank engine. shouldn't have to do a rescue axe. We do need another engine. Ivan? <clears throat> uh, sorry to bother you at this late hour, but. Today's events have made me decide to expedite the completion of our project. A few weeks later, all the engines were repaired and hard at work. As difficult as it had been to adjust, they were finally getting used to their new, heavier workload. However, despite managing better, everyone still felt overworked. Then, one afternoon, Bert saw something very peculiar. Are you alright, Bert? Do you know what I think? <laughs> News to me, you could. I suppose it would be. Never having done any thinking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, go on, Bert. Aren't you going to impress us with your thoughts? Something is going on in the workshop. Work? No, I think the men are building something. I couldn't see much, but there was something inside. It looked like they're building a new engine. Is that all? It was probably a spare boiler for one of us. Mr. Farrier said he heard a rumor. Well, if it is true, it's about time. We asked for this months ago. We? 
It is only a rumor. We should find out more from Mr. Duncan tomorrow. Yes, we should. Not you. Aw. Everything all right, engines? What's the new engine's name, sir? How did you know about the new engine? He's supposed to be a secret. You uh, left the door open, sir. Oh. So, what's his name? Come on. I haven't decided yet, Mike. When I do, I will let you know. Besides, you'll get to meet him soon enough. He should be out of the workshop in the next couple of hours. A couple, couple of, of hours? hours? Bring him forward, slowly. <laughs> or now, I suppose. What's going on? I think he's ready. Easy does it. Whoa! He's... Square? Pretty weird looking, if you ask me. And what a funny color, too. No, it's not. I like it. So do I. Mr. Duncan says it'll be different in the end, though. This is something he calls an undercoat. Oh, um... Hello. Hello, I'm Bert. And this is Mike and Rex. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, and Frank, too. Nice to meet you all. I've heard so many stories about you. Really? <laughs> of course. They read me that book about you. You guys have had a lot of adventures. Forget it. I'm not in that stupid book. They mentioned you too, Frank. <gasps> really? Of course. They told me all about you running into that support beam. Oh. So, um, do you have a name yet, big guy? Well, not yet. I'm not really even finished. Ooh, uh, let's come up with one. Why don't we call him Frank and get rid of the old one? Hey! Come on, you lot. Let him pick it for himself. <laughs> you guys are pretty funny. What's it? Would you look at that, Dougie? A new engine. Aye, he reminds me of our days back in Scotland, don't he? Scotland? Some of the engines up in the Highlands were that colour. Jokes, we used to call them. Good-natured lads, those jokes were. Strong and reliable, like the players on sports teams. You could always count on jocks in a pinch. Jocks? Ah, not a bad name for yourself. A eh, jock? Hmm. Jock? Wonderful idea, Douglas. What do you think? You'd have to keep your colour. It's no problem at all, sir. I like this colour and the name suits me just fine. Excellent. We will have that sorted right away, Jock. Thank you, sir. And you too, Douglas. No problem. Glad to help. And no thanks to me. Welcome to the railway, Jock. All the tests on Jock went without a hitch, and the following afternoon he was soon having his lining painted on to allow him to enter regular service. Show off. supposed to deliver these sleepers now oh not to worry sir leave the trailer astride the rails and get out of the way leave the rest to our jock uh all right then <laughs> close to the most you can pull. Now's the perfect chance to test your strength. I'll try my best, sir. Do your best, Jock. Come on! Come on! Oh! Uh, I, 
I did it! <laughs> Well done, Jock. Say cheese. Enjoying those new sleepers, Bert? I pulled a whole trailer full of them this morning. You what? Yep. I can do it all, road or rail. I'm the strongest there is. Pulling a trailer is impressive, but how... It really was quite a show. They even took my picture. People are coming from miles around just to see me. Maybe I'll be in the next book. Or better yet, I'll get my own. Who knows what I'll be able to get up to with my strength. Ah, unbelievable. How can he be so boastful after doing one measly job? <laughs> Funny coming from you, Mike. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not boastful. Or at least, I don't boast about pulling lorry trailers anyway. Could that be because you can't? Ah, uh, put a cork in it, Rex. Either way, I hope all this attention doesn't go to Jock's smoke box. It's only been a few days, and he still has to get used to the line. Oh, please. Like I'd let that happen. Whoa! What's the big idea? I can manage. A Mr. Duncan asked me to help. The passengers specifically requested me. Oh, have they now? Make sure you don't leave me to push you and the train. All right, then. Just keep your whistle on today. You weren't even here for that. How would you even know? All right, boys. Let's get this train moving. Psst. Hey, driver. The two engines worked well together, until they reached the green. Whoa! Can't make it up the hill, Jock? That's a shame. Guess you weren't so strong after all. No worries. I've got it under control. Ha <laughs> ha! No problem for me at all. I'm the strongest there is. Uh, I'm the strongest there is. I'll show you who's the strongest there is. Uh, feeling tired yet? Tired? Oh, please. I thought you were enjoying yourself. I wouldn't want to spoil the strongest engine's fun. Oh, not at all. I just thought I was going too fast for you to keep up, old man. Old? Now hurry up and turn around. People are waiting for me. They're not just here for you. You know, they could be here for me too, you know. I'm strong and handsome. You know, a winning combo. They're here for the winning combo, which is me, not you. Whoa, hey, careful back there. Hey, steady, Mike. We're not racing anymore. Huh. That's what you think. Racing? Oh, now you've done it. Your injectors failed. Jock, you'll have to pull the train again. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I, I can... The whole train again? Not a problem. All right, pause there, come on, come on! Let's keep it going, all right, keep it going. Well done, made record time. Really? I, I thought for sure Mike's um, incident would have delayed us. Incident? Well, whatever time you lost, it couldn't have been that much. I'm at least on time. Here to boast again about being the strongest? Nope. In fact, I wanted to apologize for um, showing off earlier. It wasn't a good first impression. I'm sorry, too, for making you pull the whole train twice. Ah, 
Ah, don't worry about it. If I didn't tease you, your injector might not have failed. At least we got the train here on time. It taught me a lesson, too. On a railway, it's teamwork that counts. That's what I've been saying! We're glad to have you on the team, Jock. I'm happy to be here. Let's show those visitors we're worth being on the cover of a book, eh? We'll work hard tomorrow and every day after that. As a team. And Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>